All right, then this is where the real fun kicks in, uh, the distorted section. Um... <laughs> Okay, the story with that is it's all the 10th fret at the B string. What you do is... Um, uh, you're trying to stagger that bend. So you might have three and four and... Kind of a strange rhythm. I think he's trying to build some tension by fighting against the beat. But it all lands on a nice strong beat in beat four when the bend actually reaches what sounds like the 12th fret. So, so just bending as slowly as you can. And when you finally get up there, you re-pick it again, let it down, pull off to the eighth, and that bar concludes with the ninth fret on the G string. First note of the next bar, um, sliding up from the eighth fret to the 10th, give it a nice long wobble. And then, nice fluid blues lick at the end. So that bit there is bending up from the 15th on the B, upper tone. And then this group of three notes. Just 12th on the E, 15th on the B, and then pull off, 12 on the B. And the next group of notes crosses the strings a bit more. So you've got E string, 12th fret. B string, same place, and a pre-bend here, 14th fret on the G, pushed up a semitone. Then let it down and pull off to the 12th fret. Rounding that idea off with a, which is a 14th on the G again, bend up a semitone, cut it off while it's up there, using your pick again. And while no one's looking, let the bend down, re-pick it again, like that. And finally, the same note one more time, but this time we're hammering on briefly from the 12th fret. So that whole lick would be... Uh... Um... OK, the next lick um, moves down a little bit to here. And it starts with the 9th and 12th frets on the G string. And now you go back to the 11th fret on the G string and bend it up so it sounds like the 12th. Let down, pull off to the 9th. And then 12th fret on the D string. And now back to the G, you go 9, then 11. And out of nowhere, a 12th fret on the B string. So, um... So that's that little idea. Uh, now back to the 11th fret bend on the G string. Bend it up, leave it there, and now pick the B string at the 12th fret, pull off quickly to the 10th. And now 12th fret on the G, sliding down to 11, and pulling off to 9. So... OK, so those two bars again in their entirety would be uh, 3 and 4 and... Uh... Hours of fun. OK, next bar starts with... OK, so this again is a case where Steve Vai is almost pretending he's losing control, but then everything's fine by the start of the next bar. This part of the lick... Um, basically requires that you stick your little finger on the 12th fret of the E string, but everything else is happening on the middle two strings. So you just throw in that 12th fret note there. And then you go to the 11th fret of the G string. Bend up, semitone, one fret. Release, pull off to the 9th. And then 12th fret on the D, back to the 9th on the G. So... And now chaos kicks in. Uh, the, the deal there is... Um, 
Your bending hand's actually doing that. Just 11th fret, pushing up a semitone and then back to normal. But because your pick is kind of sticking to the strings wherever possible, creating a little gap in between each note, then the sound is more like... You can't actually hear much of the bending going on. And then it slows down a little bit as the bend gets bigger. That one's actually a tone and a half wide, so you're bending up to up to where the 14th fret is. Uh. So. And for the next bar, from there you slide up one fret and then bend up another two. Uh, whereupon your little finger bars the 12th fret. And from here, you just have to hit all those notes together. And kind of enjoy the way the pitches clash with each other. And then this little lick at the end. Uh, so that's a pre-bend from the 12th fret of the G, upper tone. So you pick it while it's bent, let down. Now 9th on the G. 12th on the D, and then 9, 12, 9 again on the G. So. Um, let's move on to the next lick now. Uh, it's a little more terrifying than some of the earlier stuff, so bear with me. Um, That's the general idea. If we slow it right down, it starts at the 12th fret on the B, bending up a semitone. And note your hand's based around the 10th position here, because you need your third finger to get a convincing bend there. But then as soon as you hit the 10th fret on the B string, you slide up, so your hand's back up here again. And you go 12, 13, 12 on the B. And then this group of eight notes, uh, which is a 14, 12, 14 on the G, and then 13 on the B, 12, 15, 12 on the E, and then 13 on the B again. Now for something even odder. Uh, it's a group of five notes in the space of four. So it's that top note on the E string that's going to feel odd to you at first. Um, so you pick 15th on the E string, and then 13 pulling off to 12 on the B. Now on the G, 14 pull off to 12. Now you do the last four notes again. So, so far we've got... And now another group of five. This is quite a viism, this next bit. Uh, and so that's 14, pull off to 12 on the G. Down to there, 14 on the D. And for no apparent reason, we now have 12 on the B and back to the 14 on the D. So that whole chunk of the lick... Um, now you sneak down to there. What you need here is probably your second finger marking the uh, eighth fret on the B string. And from there, we have a little scale shape, 7th, 8th and 10th frets. So you, from that point, you go down, up, up, down, down. And now on the G string, to round things off, 9 pulling off to 7. <clears throat> and now for a pinched harmonic. These are always a little bit hit and miss. You're basically trying to graze the string with the side of your thumb as you pick the note. So you basically just explore the length of the string until you find an area that seems most consistently reliable for producing these harmonics. Um, so the note in question is the uh, ninth fret at the G string. Get your harmonic, bend it up a tone, let it down and pull off to the seventh. 
And the, the final beat, you have uh, seven quickly sliding, sorry, the ninth fret quickly sliding down to the seventh. Pull off to the fifth. And then the same seven and five pattern on the A string. Ram ramming things off with another seventh fret. So 